Eat your heart out, nitwits. <laughs> Scoundrels! Play me for a fool, will they? Ah, they won't get away with this! I'll show them what it means to trifle with me! Chata, wait! <sighs> he's gone. He was really upset. I hope he's alright. After all, there were those vicious Pokémon he'd warned us about lurking ahead. <laughs> I'd make a good bird! <laughs> Is it bad? Actually, moment to say this. Is it bad that I actually practice these voices? We have to get my relic fragment back from Skuntank. We should hurry. Just real talk. I actually do practice a lot of these voices just while I'm in the shower or otherwise something else. Yeah, she probably is knowing her. She really likes FGO. Though I haven't exactly heard her say much about the event is about the event that that's that's been going on. You're getting some very noodly rooms. Oh no, why? Mock Dragonair! Look at the danger noodle flail! <laughs> I forget how that derp dragon hair is! Boss animation was here. <laughs> There's voice scenes for when you give is give or receive gifts from servants. That's really sweet, actually. It's almost like the devs are saying, yeah, you're spending time you're spending time with this game. We might as well let's reward you for that. Thank you for your dedication. It's cute. <laughs> Nothing interesting is happening. <laughs> Look at this danger noodle wiggle. <laughs> Wiggly dragon air. Real talk, it still kind of weirds me out, Dratini's evolutionary line, because Dratini, then Dragonair, they look so similar, and then you get Dragonite, which looks almost completely different. And to put something terrible in your head, imagine a bag of Dragonite. A bag of Dragonite. Don't ask how you can fold a Dragonite into a bag. Somehow, I bet you can. You're welcome. No, it, it's alright, Daniel. I'm perfectly fine with that. Again, since I've been uh, growing the channel and everything, I do need to consider adding more interactive things to do with audience. And... Dedicated image share is probably something I should invest in. For, like, a redeem. <laughs> Based on a Japanese folktale about a carp scaling a waterfall and becoming a dragon. Dragonite? Cuz... I thought that was, like... Yeah, I thought it was Magikarp. Slash uh, Feebass for that one. Spurn Orb. Nah, don't really need that. Brown Gimme, on the other hand. It's chocolate flavored. Ew, I, I put a terrible image in my head. Chocolate flavored gummy? Uh Nah, I'm fine. Just chocolate flavored gummies. Why? Why do those exist? Really? To you, it sounds nice. To me, it doesn't. But maybe that's because my closest experience, my best experiences with jelly beans, weren't exactly 
great in the slightest. Like, first time I ever had jelly beans, I think it was like either Birdie Bots or some other thing, probably Jelly Belly, because I remember, I remember specifically, it was a Saturday morning, I was watching Digimon with my sister, and we had these beans, I don't remember what brand they were, all I remember is I had a barf flavored bean. I straight up puked into the toilet, spat it out, and swore never to touch jelly beans again. <laughs> Bad times. Just, I swear, I remember asking my sister about it multiple times. She swears that Birdie Bots never had a puke-flavored bean, but I could have sworn that they did. It's like an entire Berenstein, Berenstain Bears thing that's been happening with my memory. That type of muddling. Burn. Oh, right, you have thick fat, so you can resist that. Yeah, like, I, in the fiction they do. I could have sworn that they did in real life, too. The real life variant had them, too. Maybe I'm misremembering? I don't know. I remember I was, eight, like, eight or nine at the time. Oh, stairs out on the other side of the room. Or floor. Dungeon. Bang. There we go. Oh, <laughs> why? Oh, crap. And here I am without some flamethrower. Booger, earwax, and rotten eggs were canon flavors. Ew. Then maybe I'm misremembering and it was a different flavor? I... It was either a different brand or a different flavor. Just, I remember having the worst time in the world with those goddamn beans. It actually did... Holy shit! So I've been... So I've been gaslit this entire time! It had... It actually did have vomit! I knew it! Those sons of bits! I... Like, no lie, those goddamn birdie bots, because, like, as a kid, I really, really liked Harry Potter, and we got those beans because my sister and I both really liked Harry Potter. You gotta be kidding me. I... I'm, I'm actually having a moment right now. I'm having a moment... I'm actually having a moment right now. Soup is canon! <laughs> and I didn't address it, but thank you for the follow, Sky J. Welcome to Synapse. We host all types of randomness here, this included. We also host people. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> I need a is I need a better adult. I need a better adult. Why is it that of all things, Mystery Dungeon has just contracted the most weirdness out of any game clearing I've done so far?
Am I just tourist when it comes to Pokemon or something? Because, like, on the one hand, I had the miserable time with the... with the Nuzlocke, and then this happened. Ow! Actually, you know what? Just curiosity. Oh, right, that's... that's close range. I'm a dummy. I keep forgetting! For whatever reason, I keep muddling that specific orb with another one that specific that like works on distance. They made they made a game based on Birdie. Why did they make a game based on Birdie bots? I mean, like it's bad enough that they made them collectibles in some of the goddamn Harry Potter games that exist. Which, for reference, I uh, technically own the second one on Game Boy. It's not a good game. Not a bad game, just not a good game. Very milk toast game. Oh my god, stop with the weather, please. No, I'm very familiar with Bean Boozled. I think I did try it at one point, but I'm not... No, wait, I didn't try Bean Boozled. I've been wanting to, though. Actually, I might make that, like, a 100 followers thing. I don't know. Holy shit. There actually is... a barf bean, isn't there? There actually is a barf bean. <laughs> it's something to save your taste buds. Yeah, well, here's the thing. I'm kind of already buffered on a good chunk of those flavors anyway, because, like, people say that toothpaste is one of the worst flavors in the world. I actually kind of like the flavor of toothpaste and mint. I'm cancer. <laughs> No, there's nothing wrong with toothpaste. Toothpaste is a good flavor. Holy shit, there actually was a vomit bean. I knew it. Who eats paste? Some people do. Some people like the taste. Alternatively, if you've got, like, pica or some other type of disorder, that would be an issue. Well, we've descended quite a ways, but we still haven't caught up to Chata or Team Skull. This place... It's horribly hot and humid. Take that out of context. I dare you. That voice, it came from over there. Let's go. Oh, dull surprise. It's Team Skull. Looking very much in the fetal position, or otherwise downward facing skunk. <laughs> happened to you? Wait, it can't be. Were you attacked by a mysterious gang of Pokemon? What is this, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon? Ha 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 ha! Anyway. Uh, something tells me I'm gonna be mooned at this. <laughs> you can kick coughing down- <laughs> Yeah, coughing- exactly! Coughing would make a wonderful soccer ball. Just saying. Actually, coughing-shaped soccer ball. That would be genius Pokemon product placement. Just saying. A kickable coffee. <laughs> uh, you knew who was coming? 
would have been good to know that. Not that you'd tell us. <laughs> Skuntag, you all right? <laughs> Do you find us uh, in your misery, your mercy, and you're worried how we are? Sickingly generous can you nitwits be? Well, we can't just ignore someone if they're hurt. <laughs> Your concern's wasted on us. We'll be fine. That pompous Chatot brought me up enough to keep me going. Chatot did what? Oh, and uh, thanks for the sippy muffin. Also, hello! Hope you're doing well. Huh. <sighs> Here's what he did. That Chatot came after we got wiped out. Or came along after we got wiped out. When he spotted us down and out, he scolded us with all sorts of choice words. Words like motherfucker <laughs> and goddamn son of a bitch. <laughs> he said he fucked our wife. <laughs> God damn it, I put a terrible image in my head for that. I've got the just chat talk comes in the just chat talk comes in after Skun Tank says that like walks into the room. It's this specific room. And he says, I've come to make an announcement. Skun Tank is a bitch ass motherfucker. <laughs> uh, your daily reminder to watch that uh, corruption from Snapcube. And, uh, no, Muffin's not exactly from Russia, different country. Neighboring, different country. Uh, giving us that blistering tongue lashing, he went on his way. Things he said about us, I'm still seeing red. He fucked me. I fucked your wife, and I'm going to fuck you too! With my beak! <laughs> I'm so steaming mad, I refuse to give up. I'm getting out of here if I have to crawl, so I can deliver my payback to that blasted chatot. But, if you think about it, we were close to giving up, and they saved us by rolling us up. <laughs> Even though you say you've been saved, you look like you're still suffering. <laughs> We've been bad to you two all this time. You went through downright rotten times because of us. But you two can still bring yourselves to worry about the likes of us. Of course. Sure, you did piss us off so many times. But when we see you down and out like this, we can't exactly walk away. The Relic Fragment. Oops. How unlike me. That relic fragment slipped out of my grip. <laughs> uh, I can't move yet. That's Ileana's gonna steal it back. Hm. I only dropped it by accident. You're free to pick it up. Or not. Guess even a jerk like you can have a heart of gold some days. Thanks. Wanna thank me? Next time we meet, we're gonna be back to our old tricks of messing with you. Besides, don't waste your time worrying about us. You should be worrying about Chatot instead. Right. Where did Chatot go? He went deeper. He's going after his enemies. You two hurry up. Go too. Thanks, Skuntank. We're going in deeper after them. Be sure to get your team out. Don't give up. We can give you an escape orb if you need it. <laughs> I'll ask you not to patronize Team Skull. Alright, fine. Let's go, Case. You two. Can you move? You can't be serious. They, they trounced us. I'm just too wiped out. So that's it. Well, this really looked like a mess. <laughs> But Chief, like how you kept it to yourself to the very end. You're a little bit of a good guy. Redeem yourself. Now shut it. 
I gotta say, Chief, there's something to be said about you doing that. <laughs> oh, shut up. Hey, shout's hot. Oh, you two. Be alert. They're very close by. I saw their retreating figures when I gave chase. I'd lost sight of them by the time I'd reached this spot. They must be lurking here somewhere. But... There doesn't appear to be anywhere to hide here. What is this? No sense of foreboding. All I'm seeing are rock walls. At one glance I caught at them. I'm on the verge of remembering. Wait. When they attacked me last time, they appeared out of nowhere. But where they really appeared from was... Get down! They're above us! What? Ugh. I am Kabutops. And the Amistar Brothers. All trespassers need to be taught a lesson. Take this. Ugh! Ugh! Chatot. What? Ugh! Daddy. I won't let you get away with this! How do you like that? That hero shielded his buddies with his body. It's not what I call smart. Hey, I remember. Kabutops. That big hero's been here before. We knocked him out the same way, too. This is the second time he's gone and done that. That really takes a whole lot of smarts. <laughs> Say what you will. There. Our prized recruits. I won't let you harm them! Chat's <laughs> hot! It's your turn next. <laughs> Introducing, as Danielto's calling it, Team Boomer! <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, we can't exactly use any orbs. Silly all that! Why didn't you- Oh, wait, actually, I know why. Because the AI doesn't exactly handle you going diagonally backward all too easily. So that means I gotta throw a sleep seed, hope for the best. That takes care of you. Siliana should be fine for at least a little bit. Then... Stun you. Donk! No! <laughs> 153! Cell, you got the moves! Oh, come on! Alright, that's two dealt with. Again, your reminder, carry a lot of seeds with you to inflict ailments. They help a lot. And with that, if you happen to be Charmander, smokescreen also makes for a really nice distraction. He doesn't stand a chance. Chat hot, are you alright? Uh, stay with us. Chat hot! My voice. Build master. Wigglytuff! And Grovile! Guild master! Uh, Grovile! What is Grovile doing with the guild master? I'll explain later. This is more important. Chatot. Hey, hey, this is bad. Chatot's down. Golly, is he hurt? Chatot, are you okay? Are you hurt? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm hale and hearty. As you can see. <laughs> but, Chatot, I'm so sorry. If only I got here earlier. Please, don't blame yourself, Guildmaster. But, this is so humiliating. We knocked out for the same enemies 
sacrifice. Uh, that isn't true, Chatot. The last time we came here, you were knocked out right away. So you probably don't remember, but that time. When Kabutops' gang spread out at us, and it sprang out at us, you shielded me from the attack. Excuse me? I sent Kabutops' gang packing right after that, but... Well, if it weren't for you jumping out to shield me, I would have been knocked out on the spot. I owe you my life, Chatot. That's what happened? You're my invaluable partner. I am privileged to hear such words, Hail's Master. I'm such a happy Pokemon. Chatot! Chatot! Everyone, stay calm. <laughs> Denilta being the shipper on deck. I mean, if you're going to ship, go for it. I think they're both guys, to it, so yeah. He still has time. Get him back to the guild now. Oh, well, we have to be quick. Let's all go back. No. We'll take Chatot back to the guild. As for you two, and you, Grovile, you three need to keep going. But don't worry about it. Besides, if you don't go on from here, Chatot's shielding you will have been for nothing. Uh. The strange pattern's up ahead. Now hurry! Thanks, Wigglytuff. We'll continue onward. Let's go, Seliana. Casey. Okay. Let's go. Good luck! Find the Hidden Land! Grovile, how did you end up coming here? Wigglytuff brought me. Pardon? Wigglytuff? That's right. Wigglytuff had been, had been looking for me. As soon as he found me, he asked me to go with him. He said you were close to finding the Hidden Land. It worked out fine, because I planned to join you anyway. Plan to join us? Wait, so then... That's right. I've collected all the necessary time gears. Yes! All we have to do is get to the Hidden Land. Let's get to the place with that strange pattern. Kiss the meat shield. Chatot's a good bird. Just saying. For normally... For a Pokemon that I would normally consider annoying, this Chatot is quite the exception. There's water here. Oh, hold on. This is seawater. Look at that, Casey! The cave's mouth opens wide to the sea. We couldn't see it from outside because it was in the shadows. It's true. So the sea is visible beyond even these rock walls. Hmm. Nearly evening. You didn't notice the time go by. The, time ri the tide rises up from here to the gap in the walls. Okay. See you in a bit, Danielto. Oh, that's... But, what's up, Case? Hey, look at that! This is... the same as the pattern on my relic fragment. I guess this is the same pattern Chatop mentioned. I'll bring out the relic fragment. Huh? It's glowing. And the pattern on the wall. It's almost like it's reacting. Ah! Phew! What? What was that? A beam of light to the sea? What's that out there? What? That's a Pokemon, isn't it? And it's coming closer. Swimming. Seliana, Casey, and Grovile, correct? You know our names? Yes. I was informed by Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff told you? The pattern on the wall shot a beam of light across the sea. Then you appeared. 
Tell me, who are you? My name is Lapras. I'm the guide to the Hidden Land. You're what? You can take us there? You unleashed the beam of light from the pattern on the wall. That is the signal for, gar for gaining entry to the Hidden Land. It's beyond the sea. Step onto my back. I will carry you across the sea. Do not be afraid. I'm exceptional. I can carry you all and more. Beyond the sea, huh? Casey. Siliana. Let's go. Beyond the sea itself. <laughs>